What's up, my boy? George Perez right here of George Perez Stories, episode 207. Support for George Perez Stories is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below-the-waist grooming. Big news. Manscaped just released their new cologne. Look, you don't want to be smelling like Michael Jordan. You don't want to be smelling like Calvin Klein. You want to be smelling like Manscaped. It helps you feel good and smell good all over and at all times. Who knew smelling this good could feel this good too? Manscaped is trusted by over 2 million men. That's the Million Man March twice, everybody. 2 million men worldwide. Join the movement for all your below-the-waist grooming ideas. You know... There's been times where you've been in a rush and you've been put in like you got invited to a party. And you, if your friends like I need you here at eight, it's a surprise party. You're like, dude, I do construction. I don't get off till seven ten. And you're at the party and you forgot, you forgot to clean the tools. You know the saw's rusty, the balls are dusty, and it ain't trusty. I went to this party and this. Chick wanted to go down on me. You know, when a, you're like saying no to a girl, and the girl's like, Stop, you're being shy. And you're like, <laughs> Oh, quieres que te lo quiten? Like, <laughs> you want me to take this shit from you for? Are you saying no to me? Mm, she goes down on me, man. And the saw cut itself i remember she went down on me and she was like she made fun of me she's like dude you smell like ceviche everybody knows there's a deal for that guys everyone knows manscape has the perfect package 3.0 for all your below the waist grooming needs look guys i wasn't shaved back then the garden adam and eve moved out that's how bad the garden was it was stinky down there i had i had fleas that look like they were on steroids, and now Manscaped can help you out. But it didn't stop there. Complete your grooming game with the new refined cologne signature scent by Manscaped. With the same signature scent that in all Manscaped formulas, this cologne is a perfect complement to the collection. Light, approachable, and gentle mainly in all the right ways. Think of it as your wingman. You know? A little squirt won't hurt for the night to keep you fresh and ready for anything. Calming and inviting, this signature scent introduces a light citrus burst before settling into the anchoring notes of vetiver and woodsley. Masculine finish. This 50 millimeter spray cologne is even hypoallergenic. Big word for a cholo. Cruelty. And I can't say cruelty, but that's like fucking cruelty punishment. Cruelty free, dye free, paraben free, and a hundred percent vegan. You know what I'm saying? You can still eat a fucking hamburger and spray your balls. This beautiful design glass bottle makes a statement, and the manly scent is attractive to set the mood. Hey, it's been tested. I sprayed this on my balls, my canicas, the two handballs, the baby, the the brown Tiger Wood brothers. And, hey, I went to a strip club. Some girl gave me a different stroke for a different folk, and she loved it. This also... Be sure to check out the Perfect Package 3.0 with all the essentials for your below-the-waist grooming needs. The Lawnmower 3.0. Yo, I use this lawnmower. You've seen it, guys. It has a light on it. The 3.0 Trimmer and Crop Formulations. Yes, I'm talking about the ball deodorant toner to keep your testes the besties. And now you can use the new Manscaped Refined Cologne to set and smell great anytime, anywhere. It's time to feel sexy, people. Look, do me a favor, guys. All right? Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code Take a Shower at manscaped.com. That's right, guys. Go to manscaped.com. 
Get the cologne for your balls. Promo code. Take a shower. Sauce. It helps us all out. Your balls and your body will thank you. Man, I need a drink after that. You got me doing reads and stuff. <laughs> George Perez Stories, episode 206. Um, Side dickin', what's trickin'? He's not here. So, Exxon, who's Texan? What's up, X? What's up? Side dick didn't text you back either? Nope. Damn, what'd you say? Like, he did us like his kids? Yeah, dude, I feel like his kids. We text him, he don't text us back. He was supposed to be here Sunday, Saturday, for barbecue. Told us he was. Right, he said he was going to cook up. for us. Yeah. <laughs> Felt just like his kids. On the weekends, On too. On the weekends, huh? yeah. And then you check out his Instagram. He's all fucking wilding out, doing coke off right? old ladies. <laughs> Fuck that phone. Fuck nah. that phone. But I, think I, I love it. Right I you think I look it. better right here. You know how long I've been waiting for this? I've been waiting for this longer. You've been than waiting you. for a background? Yeah, this is the good background. I get I get to stand behind these comics. But I've been waiting for this longer than Sidex has been, been waiting for Christmas gift, dog. You've been waiting for that longer yeah. than Sidex kids right been waiting here. to see him? be your co-host. That's what That was the plan. I'm like, I'm going to be George's co-host. And then you're like, nah, 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 fool. <laughs> <laughs> Like, nah, nah, I got this fat fuck over here. Nah, that's how nah, I, he's funny. Nah, 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 I'm not hating on anybody. Yeah, I sure. already had yeah. a plan. Nah, like a, I don't blame yeah. you, but yeah, I just came. You're like, nah, I have this set up and all. Yeah, but for sure, it's been my what 207 episode. And You've been here for all 207. I'm the only one that's been here for every single episode. Like, Me too. Well, yeah, but you have to. It's your show. Yeah, you know, George Press stories. Is uh, hey man, it's it's actually getting to a point, guys, where I gotta start sharing shit that like I hope doesn't get me locked up. Cause you know how many fucking stories does a motherfucker have? I mean, I I, I live a crazy fucking life, yeah, but I can't say shit I do I've done like, yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what's hold on? I thought you were somewhere else. You know what I mean? I'm a sneaky fucker. All men are sneaky fuckers. Just like all women are sneaky fuckers. Like, uh, I've dated girls that are sneakier than me, ex. And it's, it's, I'm not mad at them either, but it's kind of like, I don't feel bad for being sneaky. But I'm straight out sneaky. You know what I mean by that? No, nah, wait up. Explain that. Okay, so straight out sneaky means it's like, yo, uh, I'm going to do what I want to do. And you're not going to find out about it. <laughs> Just like that. So you're letting her know that I might do something, but as long as you don't catch me. No, 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 no. See, you're already committed. Like, it's just, hey, I ain't talking unless there's a lawyer. Okay. No, nah, dog, it's just like, um, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. There's just things that we've done. That if we say what happened, it's going to hurt someone. Oh, yeah. And it's not even someone that we're dating. It's just like other shit. And I'm not scandalous with that. It's kind of, it's like Yvonne shit. <laughs> you know? Like Yvonne's, she's one of us. Oh, yeah. She, she was, she, or used to be. I don't know how she is now. No, nah, but she, and now she, she used works to be, for the yeah. city and shit. But, you know. It happens. Isn't that crazy when girls, they used to party all hard, get bomb ass jobs. Is there any time where you were a regular civilian? Where like you went, you got a paycheck, you got a bank account, you got a credit so card. I'm like that right now. Yeah, but like, like you work at a strip club though. Like, like as in you had a regular job, a paycheck, HR, yeah. like HR was yeah, there. Yeah, that's when I did construction. And all right, look for. There's really not a HR in construction, but there is a now. But my first first job was I was a telemarketer for this place called Pacific Monarch Resorts. It was in Anaheim off of Orangewood. You know where the bike trail is in Orangewood and there's like a fireplace where they practice the fire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Well, oh, shit, excuse me again. Well, across the street from that, there's a big bank by Disney, owned by Disneyland. It's called Partners Bank. And there's a telemarketing floor. I think it was like the second or the third. Wow, homie. 
That was the wildest job ever. Because back in the days, you would get the penny saver. You know what the penny saver is? Yeah, like a uh, Craigslist. Yeah, but a magazine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Used to go, they used to sell <laughs> Your cars. Your dad would get yeah. cars. That's the Paisa yeah. Capital. Paisa shit. He'd, and he'd have me call. Hey, llámale y pregúntale cuántas mías tiene, en dónde vive, en qué condiciones está. Mm -hmm. And I would be the, the intermediate trying to figure it out. He's like, All well, right. we're going to try to give them this much. Yeah. And you know, as a paisa kid, you're like, you don't want to do it, but they kind of force you. You're like, why are you here for then? Yeah, because your dad doesn't want to be the... <laughs> Not because it's like leverage if you don't know English. No, you don't know English. Get more, get more. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I looked in the penny saver and it said office job, filing and shit. And I was like, what? And minimum minimum wage back then, I don't know how much it was, dog, like 10 bucks. I don't know what it was, but it was minimum wage. And I get there and I find out it's a telemarketing job. It's a job for timeshare. I invite people. For fucking timeshare. Like, uh, it's a timeshare presentation. You, the pitch is, is like, we're giving away a Mustang 1996 Mustang. You've been chosen. And, like, you're, and at this presentation, fool, you're guaranteed a trip to Hawaii, an entertainment system, and, like. It's all bullshit, though, right? No, no, because, hold on. Like, okay, look, it's not bullshit because you get paid. For every person that shows up, that has to be 18 or over. So I had all my fucking brothers, and they all went, and, like, they got the vacation. Oh, so they, 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 they do go through Yeah, with but, it. like, the vacation is you got to give them a six-month notice. And then after that, like, you just got to keep checking in with them constantly or you lose it. But they, my, my brothers were tight as fuck. And the home entertainment system was just like those radios where the speakers come off. <laughs> like, they all went. But uh, check this out, though, dog. So, like, I show up. I'm about to have a kid, homie. I'm straight gangbanging. But I'm about to have a kid. And I'm like, you know what? I c and this is my me thinking at the age of 18. I can have a job. And be a dad and still gangbang in there just to be hard, but like still be safe. Like never around my family, but that's that's how where my mind is brainwashed at that time. I'm saying brainwashed because it's kind of like, yo, that's some crazy shit to do. You know what I mean? To only gangbang. Like I'm if I'm gangbanging at work, if I gangbang, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in my head, it's like, hey, I gotta take, I gotta, I gotta take responsibility. So I show up and I'm just like, I can't go home and tell them. Hey, I didn't get a job. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to do this job. I get there. I read it. I didn't know what the fuck it was. I thought it was just going to be me and like fucking third. Because in the interview, it was just me and like six fools that all looked like lames, eh? Like I was the only four actually that were in slacks with the belt that matched. Everyone else is just wearing pants and the butt ups that ain't iron. No, no chicks? Because usually like telemarketing. I didn't know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is just the interview. Oh, okay, the interview. Yeah, yeah. So you do the interview. They leave you a little spot. They do like a little test run. So they're like, yo, come back next day. We're going to train you. And I was like, train me for what? <laughs> so I fuck it. Next day, the dog. Pitch. I come kind of G'd out again. And we walk out. To the floor and I was like they got teams and shit it's, it's like the Wolf of Wall Street there's like hmm, there's yeah. team leaders there's fools with better clothes and they're the ones that got like a group and that group they have to get sales from them they give them leads and then there was this other guy named Chris Butch and Chris Butchko there were two white boys dog that were just smooth savvy but I remember dog and I, and I remember I walk out and fucking like I walk out last, dog. That's just how I am. I want to see what the fuck's going on. And I see other fools walk out. And there was lames. And I remember walking out. Hey, you can say I'm conceited. I don't give a fuck. But I remember walking out and all the bitches were like, bitch, I got dibs on this. Because my dad brought me a Honda Accord. I had a brand new Honda Accord full. Fucking pulling up to this shit. And then, like, I can already see the fools are going to hate because they're like, oh, he's going to come in and step on our pussy, dog. <laughs> and I wasn't even thinking that because I had my 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 bit, Georgie's mom. Mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a baby's mom. You were this, you were only trying to work to, for the baby. Like, and you, it wasn't for I knew about human resources because I remember my brother's going, look, fool, you can't fuck around in an office. <laughs> 
He's like, I don't give a fuck if a girl hits on you, fool. Do not do anything in that office. So, you know, first day, these, everyone was throwing like a, and yo, homie, I was born to fucking talk. Like, I would, I would call people and I would fucking got them. So, like, you say you got them and then your team leader comes. He confirms it. He validates the appointment. But that was my first human resources experience. And, and hey, homie, like I said, I fucked four times a fucking week until my baby's mom had her kid. And I was, I wore a condom. I brushed my teeth. My, my my parents lived down the street, so be, before I went home from work full, I'd go to the pad, wash the balls real quick. I wouldn't wash under my armpits. I would just wash the balls with the clothes back on and fucking head they'll, to the they'll pad. They'll smell your dick. They already know what's up. Uh, yeah, yeah, but that's beyond the point. So, yeah, dog, I was, yeah, dog, it was Pacific yeah. Monarch Resorts. and um, That's the only thing I miss. Like, I mean, obviously, like, I love podcasting and shit, but, like, I miss going at the restaurant and with the girls. And then you'd, I'd be walking. What's and, the HR rules for you guys? Like, I mean, there's the HR everywhere, but you still flirting with the chicks, the girls flirting with you. The and, girls and then, grab the breadsticks and yeah, stroke them uh, all the time. <laughs> and then uh, you, you know how it is at the end. Of, at the end of the shift, you're like, hey, when I'm done, you let's go meet at the bar. And you go meet at the bar. Always. Hold on, the same bar? No, another bar. Like, like, like. Yeah, the that's bar how they do door. it, huh? Yeah, that's how we all all do it. And it would, and then from there, it's one in the morning because you get done, you get done like at twelve one. You go to the bar that closes at two. You go drink, and then you start getting flirty, and then you fucking go to someone's house and you bone like that. I mean, other than you bringing strippers, I remember which is days. great here though. Like that's another plus. I'm not mad about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, another job I had telemarketing like that fools. You know where I used to work, dog? I had fucked up teeth, and I used to be an appointment setter for Western Dental. You, you weren't trying to get the hookup? No, I didn't. Is that why you're scared of it? Cause you no, no, I'm do? not scared of it. It's back then I didn't have, I had more teeth as before I got locked up. I quit that job to become a comedian. That was a job I, I did after I, I quit construction. What other job have I worked at where there's a fucking HR? That's it, no. I don't know, I mean, no, 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 no. HR. Human resource. It has to exist, Tommy. It you know, who, you know who hasn't? Side Dick Eddie's never worked at HR. Imagine if they came up to Side Dick and told him, hey, would you say? Look He'd say it back name. to him. I know. <laughs> but he say it back to him. He's like, bitch, what? He's like, fuck no, you. No, Eddie. Why you hate have... on Eddie when nah, he's not here? I'm proud of him because he's never had a, like, a, like an official job like where he had to listen to someone. Like He listens to Buddha, but it's, it's Buddha. And he's like, what's up? And they're homies. Well, actually, I dog, can't imagine. I can't imagine Eddie actually having a real boss where someone tells him, "Hey, like, hey, no, dog, he has. Yeah. He had hope, Andy. Yeah, dog. When Eddie was at Imperial Theater, they have HR. Oh, do, oh some strip clubs do. Yeah, that's a big. We all do. You can't just throw a bitch right in the curtain. We work yeah, together. Yeah, but no, dog. Like, so look. This is. I'm glad you pointed this out for you guys that think. Working at a strip club, like, only when you walk through the dressing room, yeah. The hyenas, the chicks, the girls, the ladies, they're butt naked. Some of them are butt naked, smoking a cigarette, FaceTiming. Some are doing homework. Some are checking emails. That's only when you walk through the dressing room. Are you, are you, are you allowed to walk in the dressing room at any point, at any time? Yes. Yeah? You don't have to knock. No, so I, am coming. I know. I'm just asking. Like you're just walking. Like what's there up? is no door. It's a curtain. Yeah, I've like been, how I have. Yeah. Okay. No. Like they call me back there. Like I know, but I'm just wondering if they even. No, but you know what? I get treated like a fucking sheriff. Like when I walk back to all the girls, hi or whatever. Oh shit, George is walking. Like oh, oh, like the principal. Like oh here. No, here. a prison guard. They're probably doing something back there that's gonna get them fired. Oh. Shit. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. Because they can't drink there, right? Yeah, no, no, no. No, no. So check this out, X. So after you pass the dressing room, it's the manager's office, okay? In that office, women should be fully clothed. Like, they're not supposed to be in there fucking naked and shit, paying out. Like, it's a business. Sometimes girls come in there naked and they're like, my pussy is hot. I've been grinding dicks all day. I don't know, <laughs> dog. Let me just air this motherfucker out. And imagine this, I dog. She's hot. Imagine, like, I've seen chairs in offices of strip clubs that have, like, the biggest snail trail 
ever. Uh. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. E- hey, dog. Like one chair Slimey. full, we burned it. <laughs> Not even slimy full. Like, like n- the nut has dried up now, and it's like, it's a design and shit on there. It's like forever. And motherfucker, they don't care. They will sit on that motherfucker, dog. Because sometimes, like, a girl just has to come dress. So it can be nothing under and just like a shirt. Yeah. And they just sit there, dog, and just, that shit looks like. A fucking, what's those fucking buckets you get from Home Depot? The, the orange ones? Yeah, the five gallon? The, the, the pink gallons. Imagine if you got that and you fucking rimmed it up like a, like a margarita. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 you know, you know, like the kosher salt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thick, oh. thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't uh, even know, dog. Like, you haven't seen it. No. How, how many private VIP rooms are, are, are your place? It does what does that mean? Like 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 uh the private uh, dance. How many dances? Yeah, uh, there's probably about eighteen. Eighteen? Do each girl get their own room? Yeah. Leather couches. Yes, but you each want... girl gets their own room. Like that's mine, you can't dance on No dog. That... See, that's kinda like so Well we like... clean it off after every okay, dance, so we after spray every... them down, sanitizer <laughs> boom, come in. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm not trying to like I mean But I know hold on, let, let's just be real. All right. Me and you are not strip club customers. No, we're not. Yeah, no. We we go to strip clubs to try to to lie to the girls and bring them home, and hopefully they, Prefer- or we become friends. Right? Yeah. That's how it is. At the end of the day, if we didn't hook up, yo, maybe you might know someone that I could hook up with. And ladies, you should be thinking the same. You know, what, George, I ca- I kind of thought you were cute, eh? but then I didn't like how you didn't have teeth on the top right. <laughs> <laughs> So I decided hey, to knock on Xavier's door. Hey, that's that's not going to be for too long. You coming back strong? Oh yeah, I'm getting my teeth back, dog. Hold I'm on, back. but what were we talking about before that? Right now, hmm? just strip club, just uh, side dick would have remembered, dog. But damn, fucking, I would have. He, he would have want a bump right now. He's like, Let's take a break. I need to take a bump. <laughs> Talk to you to get out of your room. <laughs> I need to go in there now. You can tell Killer's all asleep and shit. But, uh, so yeah, we were talking about looks. So look, dog, me and you, we're not the kind of guys that go to a strip club. The guys that go, they don't, I've seen this happen, bro. Like, like, so we have a half hour room and there's three 15 minute rooms and the half hour room has a love seat couch. Like, and fucking curtain, you got a little ice chest right there for your drink Okay, and nice, nice. I've seen motherfuckers wait as because so when the dance is over, they open the curtain. Whoosh. All right, the curtain opens and shit. The girl's like naked and she. This is crazy for when you're a customer at our club, you trip out because any other club you go, all the girls are fully clothed and they're walking around at our club. The dances are nude, so the girl doesn't want to put her clothes back on because she wants to go wipe herself down. It's natural. It's respect. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. If you, if the girl you're getting dances from doesn't smell like a boy or local wipes, at least, hey, dog, do not get a dance from her. She should smell like some kind of rubbing alcohol perfume or something. Yeah, like if, if you were to lick her, she should fucking taste like, like alcohol. I would not lick her. No, I know you shouldn't, <laughs> but if you do. Yeah, if you did, it should be like some fucking tajin. Yeah, I guess. Something. And I seen dog. I see motherfuckers just wait for that girl, that curtain to open. The girl walks out. That motherfucker looks at the other girl. Let's go. Like they want to get in that room because that room is the the best one, the one to get into the half hour, dog. It's the half hour. Is there any way to get two chicks in there? Do you pay for two? Yeah, if you pay for two, that you. Know, I seen no? fools pay for five half hours and one half hour and have five chicks in there. Damn. And that's I, a big room. Five chicks. That's a that's a fun time. It's a fun time, homie. I've seen fools. Once that curtain opens, just go in with the next girl. They didn't clean the room, nothing. They were rolling around in there. Yeah, you're, you're there with the same thing. Like this is the crazier part. X is that girl just got done being in a half hour on somebody butt naked. She probably grinded on him here, head, everything. You know, and then I. 
they'll walk out and a fool that wants them because they don't want no other customer to get them and be like, let's go. Y no se lavó or nada, güey. Yeah. And some of them like that. The girls even tell me that that customer only wants you. He only wants the girl after their half hour because she's like, yo voy a ser más mejor. Yo voy a ser más mejor. That's disgusting. That's it's a fetish. Yeah, it definitely. I mean, fetish. can you say a fetish is disgusting? No, I mean, I don't have nothing. Yeah, homie, no. stop being a little fucking snitch. Yeah. Have you yeah. ever fucked in a strip club? Nah. Oh my god. Nah, I've never fucked in a strip club. Never. Nah. You never whipped the fucking fierro, covered it up, nah, and got, said a I've, huevo I've, perro. I've got a hand job, but I didn't okay, fuck. never fuck. You ever? Nah. Don't lie, fool. You ever licked a pussy? At, no, not at the strip club. Never. Nah. Kiss? Nah, you oh, you told me not to. You, you okay, said that but this is, I, you, I didn't even kiss Rosie. All right. And Rosie was all about shit. You did. Nah, I did not. You did. Did you have the camera on you or me right now? I'll put it on me. Answer that. I did did you kiss Rosie? No. Look at the camera. No, I did not kiss Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> you see, chicken, 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 chicken yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Look, dog. Before I worked at a strip club, I was a stupid motherfucker. And at 18, I used to kiss them after work and fuck them and all that shit. It was, I remember one girl being surprised. She was like, hey, you just kissed me. And I was like, get in. <laughs> no, like, I was like, like, I was dumb. I thought, see, I'm 18. And I'm not working at a strip club yet. I didn't know that guy that picked up the hyena was the lame. I remember all the bouncers looking at me and be like, Also, hey. the guy that picks her up the lame, he's the last one. He's done. He's the he man. The, yeah, okay. She, you know what I mean? He's a lame in their eyes, but they didn't know. Hey, dog, I'm 18. This chick's 23. She let me drive her car. I'm chilling at her apartment that she pays for. She only has an apartment because she gets her kids on the weekend, and I'm out there Saturday or Sunday. You know what I mean? And I... But I and I remember for like in my head, the girl that I used to date back then, she's like, look, I only jack them off. I don't fuck nobody. They only have my number because they're my customers. Oh, stupid, dog. But to me. Because they all say that, right? Yeah. Well, most. Most. No, most are real. Some of them, I'll tell you straight up. So, I've yeah. heard some of them in here be like, oh, yeah, I suck five dicks today. Yeah, you no. I shouldn't smoke this blunt with me. Yeah. And hey, dog. Yeah, I find out some shit about that bitch later. No. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is, dog. Yeah, we don't... all you you, you got to be the fool to learn. That's just a little stripper game for y'all fools. Dog. I don't know how the fuck we went from telemarketing to fucking. You like talking about strippers, huh? Yeah. Would you marry a stripper? No, I don't even think Ex? I could date one. No, but but they're tricky though, because like. All the strippers that come in here, they'll add me on Instagram, and I'll go through their Instagram, and it does not say I'm a stripper. What is that? It says, no, because they're so, they look just like, I have a regular job, I work in an office. My homegirls that aren't strippers have more per, more sexier, nastier pictures than they do, which is makes no sense. I don't know if they're trying to hide it. I don't know if it's just trying to like. Some people have parents. <laughs> I, yeah, 100%. That's what I found out, too, that all these girls strip far away from home. Yeah, that's what I didn't believe because I remember I remember some girl said I'm from Hammett. It was two in the morning. She's like, I got to drive home right now. Yeah, that's you know a what, long homie? drive to go to Hammett, just a strip club at House of Eden. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's Jamaican. not. It's not though. Like right now, a lot of people don't understand, homie. Like, yo, salut to all of the girls that are dancers, strippers, adult entertainers. COVID, fucking shut them down. Everywhere. There's only, in L.A., there's no fucking strip club open. None. There's fucking taquerias open over strip clubs, dog. <laughs> Salud. Yeah, it's just. So right now, imagine it, dog. What are you going to do? They got those warehouses open. You heard about this shit? What warehouses? So in in L.A., San Bernardino. Oh, like strip clubs warehouses? No, no. They have like, okay, so what happens is is 
fools that know fools that know fools will be like, yo. And, and like, you know, hey, dog, sh- strippers, dancers, they have their own network, dog. Like, like they, they, I don't know the website or whatever it is, but these chicks have a site where it's like, yo, this fool text you. What clubs are open? What warehouses? And like, I've been watching it on the news and I've heard from other dancers that like these fools will just get a warehouse and there's no lap dances really. It's just whatever. Like, the girls start twerking and shaking on the fool. You know, you know how they make a rain yeah. out of shit? And imagine having to do that. Going somewhere where there's no security. No one's been searched. It's a warehouse. It's a warehouse. If you're raided, that is no, middle of now it's pimping and pandering. Oh, oh shit. What, what makes it pimping? What do you mean what makes it pimping? You got girls butt naked getting money thrown on in your establishment now that like someone has to take up. Someone has to take up for what's going on there. It's pimping and pandering. It's not stripping and strandering. <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean, I thought it'd just be like, yeah, it makes sense. No, I just didn't even think it'd be called. I it's didn't a tough think time. Be, yeah, I, I didn't think you'd be accused of stripping. It's a tough time for dancers right now. I feel, I feel bad. <sighs> but you know what though? Hey, I'm a, I, I got a heart. If you're a stripper, and you don't weigh over like one eighty. What's the most stripper should weigh, dog? One eighty. One eighty. What if? Yeah, you can't. You. you can't. I'm six foot. I'm two hundred. Yeah. So, I'm shit, six I'm fucking foot. burping like crazy. Yeah, I'm six foot. I'm one sixty five. You're not six foot. Yeah, I am. You're as tall as me. Yeah, I'm tall. I'm as tall as you. I'm six feet. For sure. Wait, do you wear size ten shoe? Hmm? That don't. Yeah, I'm nine yeah, and a half. Dick. <laughs> I'm six foot. I wear twelve. Oh, all right, all right, whatever. <laughs> all right, look. If you're a stripper and you don't weigh over, okay. If you're six foot, you can weigh two ten. For a chick. For a chick. That's a thick chick. Yo. Yeah, but yeah, you, but that's if fine. If you're, if you're I like over, thick. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're like five seven and you're like one ninety five, still hit me up. <laughs> look. If you're a dancer right now and you know what's up, you can't get work nowhere, I can help you out. I know a couple spots that are open, legally open, and leave me a DM. I don't want a picture like naked. I want a picture what you look like in your normal clothes. All right? Feel me? Yeah. Because. And if you're. I feel like I got to help, dog. I know spots that are open. And right now, like managers are telling me, hey, dog, I need girls because like. The girls that I have, everyone's sick of them because during COVID, no one's rehired. So right now, everyone has had the same fucking girl for the last six, seven months. And people want to see new girls. But but girls think everything's shut down, so they're not even going. That's what I'm about to say. I, I would think girls, there'd be new customers, new dancers, and people that lost their jobs. Fools, fools don't want to drive far right now during this shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So... So, yeah, ladies, like I said, if you're a dancer and you're in the business, Orange County and San Diego clubs are open. You don't got to go to a warehouse and get in a headlock because the manager wants more money. That's what's happening to our managers. are like, nah, we're taking 70. You're going home with 30, and that's fucked up. That, damn. That's fucking cold, dog. So, yo, if you want to get the hookup, get the hookup. Also, guys, don't forget George Perez Stories is brought to you by JB's Tree Service. Free estimates, tree service, stump removal, landscape installations, new lawn. Our next sponsor is a website called Zishi. That is Z-I-S-H-Y. Like fish, it's like Zish with a Y. That is Zishi.com. If you're into scandalous photos or beautiful women, then check out Zishi. The owner is Zach Venice. Sub Zach. And he's a big fan of GPS. Zach supports entertainment that still has some fucking balls. And that is why he supports the show. <sighs> fucking A. I forgot that because I lost my point. 
Our next sponsor is a website called Zishi. Zishi Zishi.com. That is Z-I-S-H-Y dot com. If you're into scandalous photos of beautiful women, then check out Zishi. The owner is Zach Venice, and he's a big fan of GPS. Zach supports entertainment that still has some fucking balls, and that's why he supports this show. Once you see Zishi, I will guarantee that a portion of you guys, and maybe even some of you ladies, will love it. So support GPS and visit Zishi.com. That's Z-I-S-H-Y dot com. George Press Stories is also brought to you by GB Extracts. Leading the game in shatter, sauce, wax, diamonds, moon rock pre-rolls, edibles, vape cartridges. Hey, I only mess with the best. The kind of vapes. That when you suck so hard, you leave hickeys on your chest. GB Extracts. Make sure you check them out. George Perez Stories is also brought to you by Gunters. That's right, guys. Gunters in Santana. Make sure you go visit them. Hey, if you're sick of driving for two hours to get a Pendleton, they got them at Gunters. Go right there. It's located off of Main or off of Broadway in the downtown shopping area. Make sure you check it out. Support your local shops at all times. X. What's up? I'm like a promote per, promoting machine right now, dog. Yeah, you're fucking. You're like an ad machine. You're like, you're like YouTube. I was gonna ask you what makes what made or what makes Pendleton so dope. Like I've 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 touched them. They're they're different. They're not your typical. It's a hundred percent wool, and it's just. I don't know, homie. It's but was there someone that wore them? Like I'm not saying like Elvis. Let me Elvis get to it. Let me like, get to it. Let me okay. get to it. It's like um, it's what the first Chicano generation, like like Mexicans, back in that time, those were the shirts that fools wore to work. They had those jobs of heavy construction, and it, it took clean your body. It took like it took care of you, and we just. You know, Rasa, dog, iron them, crease them. Fuck, I'm wearing this shit out, Because they're dog. thick. They're, they're not your typical yeah. flannel. Like, yeah. it, it, repu- it represents a couple things, eh? It represents Oregon lumberjacks. It, but in, over here in Cali, it represents the... First of all, dog, it represents the homie, the Chicano, the Cholo, the Chola, the, the lowrider, the Mexican, the Paisa. It uh, also represents gangster rap. Also represents the Indians because in like they make the patterns. It's 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 a lot, but it's expensive, real fabric. It's something you wear on her dog. Like there's flannels and shit. All right. No, no. Trust me, I have a flannel. And, exactly. And, and, I, and, I, and when you guys said shit a, fades. No, trust me. And I, and I had a flannel, and then I th- it's all fucking flimsy. It's not even thick. It's never and been ironed. Turned, and, and then you're like, <laughs> you, you don't have a pillow. And I was and I was like, well, I have a fucking flannel. The yeah. Third, when I first met you, I was like, I have a fucking flannel. And then and then you guys kept talking about it, and then I touched it, and it's just like super thick. And then Eddie's you like, ever been hit up before? Then, nah, and I didn't know that they were worth like. Wear a pillow and see if that changes. That's the difference between a flannel and a fuck. You gonna have a flannel on, fool's gonna be like, "Oh man, this motherfucker right here just trying to match." So, but if you have a Pendleton on, even me with like looking like a fuck boy, hell yeah, I'd walk into it like, "What's up, homie? Where you from?" That Pendleton is just—it's gonna get you hit up, or you're gonna hit up people, dog. That's the power of the Pendleton. You have you ever been hit up by like a cholo that I was trying to punk you? Nah, not. I mean, I've been hit up like in high school, but not, no one that scared me. No, 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 okay. Like, I'm asking you, no. after you were 18, has anybody nah, ever walked nah, up to you and like, yo, where are you from, fool? Not over 18. I've been hit up in, like, high school, like, little, like, By fools, fools that you, they were in your area? Yeah, they thought they were gangbanging, what did you but say? I wasn't scared of them. I just, dude, they went to my high school. I knew okay, they were hold on. Let's, what did you say? Like, mm-hmm. what, what, don't, don't make yourself look cool. No, I, I didn't. I just didn't say shit. I was like, I don't bang. That's it. And walked that's it. away. And just was he, like, I don't bang, and that's it. And he's like, well, What's up? And I was like, Nothing's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Nothing at all's what's up. But like, I mean, he, he 
It just it is what it is. Like, that's I, hey I homie. That's happened to me. But like, like you, you you hit up fools like me like not like me. No, but, I, like, but I've hit up fools before, and like you could tell they weren't like once I hit them up, I was like fuck. I know this fool. I remember going, hey, where the fuck you from, homie? And he was like, um, what do you mean where I'm from? I'm I'm Panamanian. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, no, where the fuck you from, man? You gangbang or what? This is Orange, homie. Soyce gang. What's up, fool? He was like, dude, my dad would kick my ass if I could jump in anywhere. <laughs> he said, I got to go to class, man. I'll talk to you later. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, it's happened to me where I've been, been like, it's also happened to me, dog, where like I hit fools up and fools be like, I ain't fucking stupid, homie. I ain't no gangster. I just dress like this. I'm hard. And I remember just going, so you want to dress like me and call me a stupid motherfucker in my head. That's worse, right? So I fucking just had a sock. Sometimes you got to sock a motherfucker that's wearing a Pendleton that shouldn't be wearing a Pendleton and acting stupid like that. And hey, does it sound childish as fuck? Yeah, dog, but that's the code, homie. That's just what we- it is. So it's like anybody can wear what the fuck they want. Damn, so Tommy's trying to get hit up? Nah, Tommy, Tommy's allowed to wear a Pendleton because he's a Chicano. He's, rockabilly's like, all the cultures wear him. But a rockabilly would get at him too. It's A Pendleton's a strong fucking statement. And I'm not over-exaggerating. I'm not like, you know what I mean? A fucking a white dude, like, oh, after George Perez stories, people start wearing Pendleton's and getting jumped. Like, <laughs> no, dog. And Pendleton, you owe me a lot of fucking money for this one. We're going hard, and you can get a Pendleton at Gunther's in downtown San Paolo. <laughs> but, um, yo, dog, I've gotten a lot of pussy. A lot of a lot of girls after you... Because it's, it's a certain girl, right, that knows that you're wearing a Pendleton. Of course. It's a homegirl. Right? People know. If you know, you know. If you're fucking with me, any girl that fucks with me knows what a Pendleton is. 90%. And a lot of times, a lot of girls, after you tap, they like to put that Pendleton on, dog. And we're like, yeah, yeah, you know? But, yeah, you never owned one, huh? Nah. Fucking idiot. Nah, I haven't owned one. I was I was actually going to buy one. Do you remember we were going to have a... That show in Fullerton. Yeah. Fuck, Julio's, I'm so mad. Marsh. And, and I was going to wear those with either Timberlands or some Yeezys. And I was like, George is going to be pissed as fuck when I pull up with that shit. Yo, homie, we had... Timberlands would be cool, though, right? <laughs> nah, you can't wear... You can't yeah, wear you can pull it up. Yeah, yeah, you can wear yeah, Timberlands, all right, but... All right, all right. Like, you're... Okay, look. You can't have the tongue hanging out nah, and shit. Nah, nah, I tighten... I, you got to tie stiff, them. Stiff, 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 yeah. And, like, your pants have to be a little... Cut. You can't wear them with, like, some acid wash jeans. Like, you better wear <laughs> some motherfucker. <laughs> you can't wear them where you're, like, ripped pants and shit, dog. <laughs> Because the home is going to be like, what's... But you know what? It is what it is, dog. I mean, we're not going to fucking jump No, I know that. No, but I know there's respect to it. Like, I shouldn't be a little punk like in, like... Like you said, tie-dye pants. Come on, fool. Chill down. Like, like, look, homie, did Miklo ever have a Pendleton on? And blood in, blood out. All his other homies were in Pendletons, but that fool was wearing that fucking gay-ass red and blue flannel. Remember when he shot that fool? No! <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, dog. But anyways, moving on into some other shit, man. It's 2021. A lot of other people have talked about, hey, George, why don't you talk about the Washington Capitol? What the fuck am I going to talk about, eh? Everyone has said something that we haven't agreed with, and why do I want to add to that? That's that's mine, you know? That's, that's Xavier's world. They, they talk about... <laughs> Storming the building. What I want to fucking talk about is how in the fuck and how are we going to take cocaine prices down to 50 bucks a gram again? This shit's getting out of fucking control, dog. Cocaine is harder to get than toilet paper. It needs to be the opposite. What's the most you paid for lately? 120 a gram. Damn. That's like, that used to be a late price at two in the morning. That's stupid. No, it, uh, the person I am, no, no, yeah, it used to be thirty five bucks, forty bucks a gram. <laughs> Motherfucker just want to be like, yeah, slang to you, dog. I don't make people like. Don't you hear when a dealer tells you, yeah, homie, 
I don't make money off of you. I make money. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. Like, come on. Like, let's be real, eh? If you slang, there's no fucking way you're slanging and risking to get caught for a free transaction. That's why whenever I brought coke off of fools, I'd be like, yo, homie, I know that you're a fan of my dog, but you're going to give me bad voodoo. So I know for a fact you probably paid 30 or 40 bucks a grand for this. Here's 50, dog. That way you made your money and I paid and I'm going to go my way and hopefully the fucking cocaine gods protect me on this way home. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you can, I mean, you know what's up. Not that you can try to brag, but you can get it for free all the time. Yeah. No, and, you can. And I don't and do you it. You don't. You always be like, here's. Remember that here's, one fool that tried to oh, give us 100 bucks and coke at the left factory? No, yeah. The, Dude, he gave us a sack in a hundred dollar bot in a hundred dollar bill. He gives it to me because yeah. George was like, "No, no, no, no." And then I'm over there. I'm like, "He What's got up? mad at me." Too. Yeah, <laughs> this fool gives me a hundred dollars and a, and coke inside. You know how usually you you put the coke inside to like if you don't have a baggie, gives it to me. And then I'm like, I understood. I was like, he was giving us coke, so I put the coke eat the coke in a bag, and I go try to give him his hundred bucks back. And he's like, "Nah, you yeah. can keep the hundred bucks." Two. Yeah. And I try to tell George, I'm like, yo, he won't let me give his hundred back back. And George tried to tell him, like, yo, dog, the sack's cool. And he's like, I, no, I didn't even know there was coke in there. Yeah, and they, no, oh yeah, you did yeah, it. At first. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, look in it, eh? And then you just what he say? He's like, I listen to podcasts every day. I think I owe you guys. Like, this is yeah. the least you could do. So it's one of those type of fools where we're like, it's not that we've it's not that we like understood him, but we're like, all right, but like I said, us. once again, homie. Yeah. It wasn't a dealer because you've seen it. Um, I only have two dudes I go to. And the other people that I fuck around, they want me to be their customers. So you'll see. Wow, I can't believe I'm telling y'all motherfuckers this shit right here. <laughs> like, w- have you ever had a dealer in anything? Like, Sweet. A weed dealer? Who was- Don't say his name, but uh-huh. like now... N- now, but, uh, anyone sells. Your no, name. but I'm talking like you don't even have to buy. No, yeah, no, I don't have to buy it. So just get hooked up by f- just where the fuck I ask. Like, damn. But yeah, no, I used to just have a dealer. You know how it is. And it used to be weird because I used to live in mom's house. So I would never have the, it would always, my, my, I would just leave it in the car because I had at least enough respect to not put it in the house. Your so, mom, back, she's like Catholic. Yeah, Catholic, Mexican, typical like. Fuck, don't, don't touch weed. It's when we're on marijuana. Yeah. Fuck you, like, you're lazy motherfucker. So I would just keep it in the car all the time. I would always have an eighth in the car. And I would never put it in the house. And I thought it was, like, kind of, like, justifying it. Yeah. But, nah. These fools fucking knew I was smoking weed every day. This was, I, I'd show up, try to put the eye drops in. You know, typical yeah. shit. Try to put the eye drops in, the cologne. Try to hide that shit. And they just look at me like again, again, again. My mom was um, older than your mom. And my mom had the fucking like bringing the weed, like bringing weed into the fucking house. The devil. Mm -hmm. The cops are going to fucking. My mom thought the cops were going to show up with the SWAT team, helicopters, (laughs) fucking like Navy fucking SEALs, fucking. The Cobra Kai crease was gonna come, dog. Like you got caught with weed? No, Never, but like you just told you don't bring. And it my in. mom, I can't look for. I remember being like sixteen and getting caught with speed, a gun, weed, and like back then we used to do credit card fraud. So I had like three hundred bucks. It's a lot of fucking money and shit for a 15, 16 year old dog. Okay. You know what I mean? And my mom comes from Mexico, so she's kind of like, in her eyes, she's like, damn, the cartels are big, but my son's going to get into the mafia over here. Like, you know what I mean? Like, hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dios. <laughs> so, like, to her, she was just like, look, my mom was straight out. She's like, look, fool, if you're going to be carrying a fucking gun, there's no fucking need to be carrying this other shit. Like, what are you? You're gonna, you're gonna fucking get chased by the cops and keep throwing shit. They're gonna shoot you. My mom knew. She's like, you think I'm stupid? I know when the cops, you probably throw shit and run. You know what I mean? Because hey, I remember one time I fucking did throw a gun. We threw a fucking gun. The, 
I used to live on Chapman in the 57. And we were fucking, fucking around. There's a, before that, there's a plant, there's like a little shopping center. It has a plant parenthood, a massage. And then like people don't know when they built this building, they didn't know there was going to be houses behind it. And they have like a, a entrance, but it's chained off with cadenas. And we were fucking cut the cadenas and shit, dog. And I was out there being a dumbass, flossing in the fucking hudas came full. And I remember just fucking the car took off, dog. Because, you know. But this was like before it was even a felony, right? I didn't know. Or you had I, no idea yeah, yet. I mean, I didn't know. I was like, well, I'll get caught with the gun. You know yeah, what I mean? No, either way, it's scary. Yeah. Either way, either way you're I don't want to get yeah. shot. Yeah, yeah. So, and I don't want to lose the gun. It's not mine. You bought it? Found no, it? No, dog. I fucking stole it from somebody. So, and I, I've i always wondered. I mean, you might know. If you if you steal a gun and that gun has a a murder case on it, shoot someone, is it kind of your problem? This, you, if... Come on, dog. You have to have an alibi. Like, we're, if this shit, someone shot someone in Virginia, I live in Orange. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah but if but... they can link you, they can link you. Oh, shit. But this one wasn't. And I just remember, like, I fucking, fucking threw that shit. Because there's, like, a high freeway fence. And I fucking threw it over the fence, dog, and just ran. And they caught me and shit. The cop was like, what'd you do and shit? I'm like, I didn't do anything. He's like, what'd you throw? I was like, I threw weed, man. I threw weed. And he's like, oh, if we find that shit, we're going to lock you up. And I was like, whatever. So they don't find it or nothing. I don't think shit, dog. And I fucking had my mom pull over on the freeway. You get it, yeah. Because <laughs> I was like, like, this is like a week later, too. I was like, fuck, I wonder if it's still there. There's no way I can walk on the fucking freeway and walk back with the gun. And I was kind of like, was it loaded? Yeah. I remember, I think it belonged to one of my older homies. I'm trying to, yeah, it belonged to one of my older homies. And I was just trying to be hard and carry it. And yeah, dog, I remember getting that motherfucker. And it was like, uh, I wonder, look, if you're a tweaker out there, you want to make some real fucking money? I bet you money, dog, if a fucking tweaker... Got those fucking things, those metal detectors, metal and walked through the motherfucking freeway. How many straps? Oh yeah. Do you think you'd find and all like 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 let's just say if somebody came and cut all those bushes and shit where you could throw something and hide, you'd probably find weed, coke, fucking knives, Got bottles, it. guns, bats. Like imagine that shit. But then they it's disgusting. They'd be all pissed on and shit. Oh, yeah. I don't know, man. I, I, I got to give it up to homeless people. I never talk about COVID or shit like that, but I kind of know this, that homeless people are not going to get COVID because their immune system is like... It's on point. It's on point. Come on. I sleep in shit and piss <laughs> in an alley under a bridge. Like, the fuck? You think the flu? Like, homie... I'm eating out of trash cans. Like, I don't know. The they're homeless sur- dog, they with it. They're surviving. They won the most out of COVID. Now they're going to get fucking shit for them. They're going to build Some shit. Some of them got a hotels. Yeah. Like, if you get COVID and you go tell the government that you got COVID, they'll, they'll quarantine you. Because they don't want you go hanging out with other homeless. Yeah? Yeah. They have hotels for them. I mean, they're probably packed now. But if you were one of the first, one, the first homeless that had COVID... And you go and when to go tell the government. You but got then that just kills the whole premise I talked about. Well, COVID, no. homeless aren't supposed to get COVID. Do you think those are fools just but like there's lying? There's some that do. But that are just saying, to. hey. I mean, I would. Because that's a, that's a fucking, that's a scam. Hey, I want to go stay in a hotel. Like, what do you got? You have to show up with the test, right? Well, a positive. Well, remember the riverbed? How, yeah. How many, how many homeless you think lied that lived at the riverbed? It's kind of some weird to lie about, too. Hey, I'm homeless. Because oh. the riverbed, you remember that they gave everybody a hotel? Yeah, they when, gave everybody a 30 down, day voucher. 30 day voucher. How many people lied and said they, they, they were part of the riverbed? How many people didn't? How many people actually just sat there and partied for fucking 30 days? I only knew a couple fools in that riverbed. And I'm glad I only know it's a couple fools. 
Because at the end of the day, man, if you're a homeless fool and you're a druggie, there is a big chance that you're like no good. You're a snitch. Like, why are you homeless, man? There's people that want to help. You know what I mean? I don't know, dog. Like, I don't like when a fucking homeless, like, drugged out fool is, like, asking me for money in my head. I feel like, yo, homie, show me your paperwork, and I'll fuck. If you're, like, a snitch or something bad, like, that's why you're this piece of shit. You got disowned. You know what I mean? Because, like, a homeless people, that means you got to be disowned, and no one likes you. Yeah. Like, your family likes you, so you must have done people dirty, dirty. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Like, the other day, you know, at TJ's, I work right there. Yeah, yeah. On Tuesday nights. Don't forget, guys, if you want to see me DJ, I DJ at House of TJ's. <laughs> no, that's TJ Showgirls, City of Staten, 10350 Beach Boulevard. It's in between Cerritos and Ball. And on my lunch break, I go to the liquor store, dog, and there's this troll out there, and he was like, yo, homie, like, I'm kind of doing bad right now and shit, ain't. Like, if you could help me out with, like, a quarter. And I was like, yo, homie, let's be for real, dog. How the fuck are you doing bad? Eh? You're showered. You know what I mean? Like, you don't look dirty to me, dog. You, what's up? You fiending or what? You going my Malia's? And he was just like, no, man. Like, I lost it all. Eh? My lady left me, my parents, my brothers. And I was just like, well, what's up? You a, you a dropout? You a piece of shit? You a snitch? Right then, dog, I made the decision of, if someone says that to me, I'm taking flight. And he was like, no, like, hey, what are you talking about? You don't know. You don't know me. Who are you? And I was kind of like, Nah, fuck that shit, eh? Like, I'm not... Like, if you were not portraying to be this hard-ass fool begging for fucking money for drugs, you're... Nah, dog, like... uh, I just couldn't stand it, in, And and I was just like, yo, dog, I know you ain't a real motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here and shit, eh? Don't be begging. And, like, this motherfucker actually left. Yeah. I hate motherfuckers like that, dog. Pieces of shits. Snitches. Fucking... Dime droppers, fucking piece of shit fools that fell off, and now they're begging and shit and harassing people. Fuck all that. You want to talk about harassing? I, I, I don't know if I told you. The other day I was with the E's only went to the bank out there in Crenshaw, and they're standing outside the bank. The homeless, like standing right outside where you pull, you know how you do the, the drive through the drive through bank? Uh-huh. They're standing outside out there with two guys in the front. Just wait, and all, you have to give them a 20. Because that's the least of money you can get. And they're literally standing in the they front. They punch you for 20? Nah, you know he's on. <laughs> you know he's on took off his hat looking balls. And they like, what's, just, up? what's up, fool? And they just kind of put it out. But they were like, they're, like you said, they're Homie, I would have took flight. Harassing people. And you didn't be like, fuck you, motherfucker. You don't live at the bank. <laughs> the fuck, I mean, you're not a pigeon. You don't stay on the roof. We should have. I mean, I hey dog. I see. That's, that's exactly what I mean, X. If I'm at the fucking bank waiting in line, and three homeless people are like, "Y'all, homie, this is our ATM." Dog. I'd be like, "Wait, dog. If y'all motherfuckers clean this motherfucker, fix the lens, make the line faster, I might break you off something." But no one take flight. Bam. <sighs> I want to fuck up a homeless person. <laughs> have you? Nah, Have you been man. Close? Has anyone like? Cause, cause homeless guy, I've been close. Well, at TJ, I've been close. Where I'm yeah. like, yo, fool, get the fuck away. Where you like? And I'm not that type. He of dude. threatened you. Yeah, yeah. He like for sure got like way too close. You know, she got way too close to my white girl. I'm like, get the fuck out of my way. Yeah, it's your lady. Yeah. If, if a homeless fool is about to fucking get close to your lady, you got you have to protect, dog. Yeah. But like, um, there's been a couple times right here at TJ's. You know, sometimes fools. Or, like, f- this fool was kind of fresh homeless, eh? Like, there's a, there's a smoke shop by my work, and a lot of fools go in there, buy zigzags, blunts, pipes, whatever. And I remember it was, like, during uh, 5 o'clock or 5.30. I had to walk a girl out to her car because the door guys were doing shit and something, and it was kind of slow. And That's I remember- something I didn't know, that every girl gets walked out. Yeah, every girl gets walked to the car. And... and- I was like, I think oh. it was a girl I was trying to fuck. Yeah. And to me, I'm like, oh, how bougie. No, it's because fuckers are out there waiting yeah. for it. Yeah, to me, I was like, oh, how bougie. Like, nah, like, 
No, first of all, they're walking out with thousands of dollars. Not thousands. Well, some, sometimes, they're, sometimes yeah. on a Friday night, maybe Saturday night, oh, they're walking yeah. with a good amount. They're walking out. They're fine. They might be a little tipsy. Hopefully not because they're driving. But then they they need like someone just to make sure that they're safe to to the point where the, yeah, the club's that's a safe tip. enough. Yeah. yeah, the club's safe enough to say, hey, we got them to the car. You got to protect them, bro. Yeah. And uh, there was this fucking bum out there, dog. And I ain't gonna lie, he was kind of healthy. Food. He was like six <laughs> three. You know, I know. I did my little predator. And you, know, not, you know, the predator looks at people, looked at him and shit. And I did, I did that shit. I looked at him and I was like, "Damn, I'm gonna have to fucking sock this fool quick. He's pretty big." And he was like, "What's up?" Trying to talk to the dancer. I go, "Hey, homie, back the fuck up." She's going, "He's like, what, what the fuck you, homie? This is my parking lot. I live here." He's like, "I live here." I'm like, "You don't fucking live here. I fucking work here five days a week. So you're you're saying you live where I work?" He was just like, homie, I will fuck you up. And this fool pulled out a fucking... Ro- like, he was going to spray me with Raid, eh? That's like May A4. Imagine if someone sprayed your May- face with oh, yeah. Raid. And I remember I fucking stepped back and shit, and the girl's like, oh, my God. And the fucking girl goes in her fucking car, dog. And this fool's like, fuck it. You think you're bad? And he fucking rips his shirt off, dog. And he fucking throws the spray can down and shit. And that's just... So this motherfucker mazed his own fucking area, dog. He's like... And I'm like, fuck it, eh? I fucking tell the girl, hey, leave, please. And then by this time, I'm like, what's up, homie? What you want to do? I'm off camera. Because in my head, dog, I'm already breaking it down. All right. You have to prove that he rushed you first. So I need to bring this fool closer to the camera. I need him to attack me, and I already know the counter. And you got to think this in your head because I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm not going to lose my career with this fool. This fool's threatening the girl, but no one can see. So I'm going to bring him towards me, eh? And once he swings, I'm going to have to do what I got to do. Yeah, because you, you, you've worked there so long, you know exactly where the camera's at. Yeah, yeah. And nah, childish, dog. Once I was like, hey, come on, homie. I felt <laughs> wind, picked up everything. He's fucking came back to life and shit. Forgot he fucking broke his pipe. Was this before they were living on the rooftop? Nah, yeah, no. Nah, this is after, dog. Like, uh, I've seen this fool a lot of times after. And it's kind of weird that he's so drugged out. Like, he's walked by later and asked me for cigarettes and shit. You forgot. You guys even yeah, know. and that's when I was kind of like. You know what, eh? Damn. I'm glad I didn't overreact and just take flight because that's full sick, eh? There's a lot of tweakers out there that are sick, dog. And it's like, I see it. I, I could tell a player tweaker, a homie tweaker, or a sick, a sick tweaker. And lately, I've seen a day where it's kind of like, how long does it take to become like from like a homie tweak, a homie tweaker to like a fucked up tweaker? How look, hey, like the other day, dog, I've never seen this before, but I seen a uh, Indian tweaker, and I'm not talking Indian like a fool that hunts buffalo. I'm talking like a slum dog millionaire Indian. Oh name. shit, those are those are those are weird. And it was the weirdest shit, dog, because like he had on an outfit that wasn't. Like, I could tell he's been up for maybe five. No, 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 no. Look, dog, I'm a professional tweaker, like, an analyst. <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah. Okay. All my friends that, have, that haven't stopped, that keep going, I can tell. And, hey, dog, I, I've seen. I've been at this fool's level, but not like I, I, I could tell this kid had money and he was spoiled, dog, because he was walking around with, like, expensive pants and expensive sandals and expensive like shirts. He for sure didn't start with that, though, right? No, no, no. He, he's he been tweaking for seven to eight days with this outfit on. And it's an expensive outfit that's just dirty. And then now he's done so much. Whatever he's done, he's gotten dirty shit. And this fool had, like granos on his face like a rash pimples and you could just see the whole like he still knew how to talk he was hey man uh, can i please have a can, can i please have a can i have a light and i was smoking a cigarette out there and i looked at him and i was like i don't have a light then he was like well then how'd you light your cigarette and i was like <laughs> i don't need to answer how i lit when you need a light homie look i don't have a fucking light and it is what it is what's up and you could just see him like Oh, shit. I don't know why I'm talking to you like that. 
And then it was a trip for because, like, I was kind of like, ah, fool, I'm not giving you the light because I don't want nothing dirty back to me, handed back to me. You know what I mean? Especially I was, now. I mean, like, even before, like, you don't want that shit now, but with COVID and all that shit. Yeah, no, yeah, man. Even before, I, I never wanted, like, when they ask you for a lighter, you ask me for, like, you'd be a vendor. Who the fuck does that? Who asks you for a fucking cigarette and a light? I, that, I never have. Unless you're trying, and you smoke cigarettes, you never, you're not that. Yeah, I would never, I would never see you asking for a cigarette. Come on, dog, dude. I, I would, yeah. I, I know you wouldn't, but the I would. Fuck imagine. Is wrong. <laughs> you have a front wing? Nah, that ain't me, dog. I'm fucking pulling out my shit. I got my own fucking light. I got my own sack. Like, yeah, yeah. who the fuck ask? I, I know. Stop asking for fucking cigarettes. Get a fucking job or don't fucking smoke. The fuck, and 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 look, the only person allowed to ask for a cigarette is a girl, because yeah, a lot of girls don't smoke a lot unless they're drinking a little of their buzz, and yeah, and they might do it just like be cute with you, and be like, hey, I like that dude. Let me, let me go yeah, I mean, I mean like, yeah. like if you're asking me for a fucking cigarette, you better have a fucking lighter. Right? You better be like, hey, dog, <laughs> just right now, <laughs> look, I got my own life for it right now. But yeah, stop asking for fucking cigarettes. I'm not going to be like other podcasts and be like, what's your resolutions for 2021? Because there is nothing, eh? How the fuck are you going to get that job that you wanted, eh? It's not even there. But for those of you who are getting it, eh? Congrats. I'm not hating, you know? There's, there's people working right now. And there's people collecting unemployment and they're happy with it. And there's people not getting shit. I feel bad for them. Uh, how do you feel, X? I feel great. I feel like a good cause. I'm wearing Sadik's hat. I know he's gonna be pissed about that. All right, you got that's his hat. Yeah, that's one more thing I've got only- kids. <laughs> yeah, dude. You know his kids want this hat, and I said go fuck themselves. Like, this is my hat. He's gonna that's be what's up. It's a fucking Chicago Bulls '98 hat. You know how much he praises this shit. Mm-hmm. A lot of people are like, "Yo, George, I really want to see you do stand-up comedy. How can I see you?" Book me, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you'll do private shows. I'll do private shows, you know. As long as it's done the right way. I'm not going to go to a ghetto-ass motherfucking house and do a show. Fuck all that. It has to be a... I mean, if it's, you know what's up. Um, This is episode 207. 207. We're still going during COVID. I wonder how many episodes we've done during COVID. Been COVID what? started in March. It's been March. And we're in January now. We've done We've done a good twice a week. Twice a week. Maybe we took like a month off twice a week because you were all yeah. sconted out. Man, so it's a good 40 episodes. Fuck. Yeah, Martin came out with the beginning, came back again. Yeah. He's one of the ones that the said, The retired fuck Aztec the retired. is back yeah. in the building. So, yeah, we're going to keep him going and shit and like, we didn't have no guests tonight because due to COVID, motherfuckers are scared. And Sidek Eddie's doing fucking Dennis Rodman right now. No, he's not kicked off the podcast. The motherfucker's just going through a lot of shit and he's handling shit. He's not here. He's not here. We'll keep it going for you guys. Thank you guys so much for listening. Um, Next podcast, we're going to have a guest. He's tested and approved. And um, yeah, we we doing it rolling sound now. We got people getting tested and approved. Yeah, we're not yeah, fucking around. We gotta dog. get tested now. It's getting, it's getting weird out up in here. So you gotta get tested. You gotta get approved. You can't come visit. We have no fans. We used to have. Remember, we used to have people here. Yeah, no, fuck all remember that. Remember, the shit, couch right? used to be full of fucking people watching the show. Fuck all that dirty now, guys. All on my old, fucking yeah. couch. Not no nah, more. Fool. Now you gotta get tested, approved. Got to bring more than three jars. So uh, that's what's up. No comedy shows coming up at any clubs, guys, because I'm, I'm not doing anything with fucking 50%. It has to be. You got to let me be able to sell all the tickets. If not, there's no fucking reason. I'll fucking stick stick to what I'm doing. Um, shout out to my boy Josh Potter and the Buffalo Bills <laughs> making the championship. Josh, we got nothing but love for you. And, um, yeah. Anything you want to add, X? Nah, I'm good. Let's go. 
Yo, this is George Perez Stories, episode 207. With that being said, take a shower. It's Martin Luther King's birthday, so black power. Late. Late.